just picked up this thing. 60 bucks. MTD garden tractor. Four lug rear. It's a two speed. Two speed. Barrow Drive. You can see the you can kind of see the pulley action down there. Two speed. With and then they put the pulley on to give you the different speeds. So it says six speed, but it's actually two, and then it has all the different things in between uh, provided by the pulleys. <clears throat> Guy stopped using it because the engine stopped running. And I turn it over and its compression sounds normal, doesn't sound like a rod broke. Both cylinders are doing their thing. And so he gave up on it. He even he replaced the coil. Couldn't get it running with, with the new coil. He I guess he got new spark plugs. At least that one looks new. And he picked up even a carburetor. I'm not sure if this is new. No, it's not new. Has a 2,000 year coat on it. This is probably the original. This is this is the original carburetor because he has on here this replacement, which is a definitely an older carburetor. Has a three screw pump, and you can see the low speed jet adjuster. So now it's mine. Looks pretty promising. Everything looks like it's in good shape. 46 inch cutting deck. Don't see any broken parts yet. All this stuff is taken apart so you can work on it. Typical broken front nose, <coughs> front piece. So I see a lot of people make up like a metal bracket to patch that and make it attach again. Gonna have to do that, but. Panel, all the panels look good, so it's going to look decent. I mean, it's not real rusty or anything. I think he kept it in a, in a shed at least, <clears throat> and, it, and so it's going to look half decent. No, no major rust to patch up or anything, which is important because I bought this to resell it. I'm not going to keep this thing. So, let's see if we can find some numbers. Actually, I don't think we're going to find a number because... He's keeping the seat, and I think I have a seat to fit it in a bracket, but I think, yeah, I think the model number's on the seat bracket, on the MTDs, on these type anyway. It's probably an 800 series. It's pretty typical for the full-size machines. Probably something like, if I had to, if I had to guess, um, it's a 2001 model, so it's probably like a model, I don't know, 840 something or 828, something like that. But that's close enough. So I just tried to do a little diagnostic work here, and both of these coils don't fire. I thought it was maybe the kill circuit, so I un unhooked that. Still didn't get spark. I think the one he replaced it with is an old original because it says Belden on the wires here, 1994. And then the one that that would have been original. It's all uh, all filthy. It says um, has every indication of being an original. So very likely he got two bad coils here. The one he replaced it with was a lousy one, and the original one failed because he said when he was running it. It just suddenly, well, a characteristic thing. They can suddenly die, but for him, um, shut it down and then try to restart it and then didn't have any spark and since then could never get it running again. So that's pretty classic for these ignitions. 20 horsepower, twin two, which means it should be a model 46. 46, 2001 engine. It's the big boy. Well, I can't find any other spare, <coughs> spare coils to put on this for now. I do have a really old one off of 
another twin, but it's not really the right one because it doesn't have the right connector for the kill. So the easier thing for me to do is just go ahead and take the ignition coil off that spare twin that I have right now and try to get it running with that just to see how it does as far as running. But I think I'll do that tomorrow because the sun's going down. So there was two bad coils there. Stole the one off my <clears throat> my other spare 16 and a half horsepower. And inside of this was pretty bad. A couple things wrong with the pump. Got that working. Found all kinds of corrosion. This must have been rained on a lot. Um, got that working half decent. But I think it's not happy with this carburetor because of the jetting. But now it's a runner. So I'm going to put the, the newer four screw um, carburetor on. And I think I'm going to, I might put this on one of my, my older uh, MTD machine that it's a 16 horsepower. And this will probably work better once it's working correctly. But I think, like I said, the jetting's not right for the 46. Although there were 46s, the early 46s that had this carburetor. Well, I was going to take this thing apart and see at least what's going on inside, but um, it's really hard to get apart. This might have never been taken apart or, never, or hasn't been for a number of years, so I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to tear that gasket in the middle. I don't think I have... I don't think I have a gasket that would replace that if I mess it up. If you ever take one of these four screw pumps apart, just keep in mind that unless you have a rebuild kit ready or at least have that gasket ready, don't bother and just use it as is until you uh, acquire one because that gasket will get screwed up in the middle if you try to force it apart. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on and have a little faith that I can get it running with this the way it is now.